Hey, Steven. Uh, welcome back to part two. Um, we have a few more minutes to talk. Uh, so, uh, let's see here. so I finished up talking about my the three main points I wanted to talk about with Medim and Uet. Um, next thing, number two, I wanted to talk about was uh, rest stroke. Um, it's looking better. Um, I was watching your right hand closely in the video, and everything looks good. What I was watching for was that when you did your rest stroke in the melody, um, mm. that it was supporting the hand um, when you're doing your thumb strokes. So when you say, for example, you did this, and then you did. See how the thumb, the, the, the hand is not here, it's floating, and you can just do this right here. Uh, the support comes from rest stroke right here. See, it's anchored. So that's what I was watching for when you were doing your melody, and I saw you doing it, um, I think, pretty much the entire time. Uh, so keep on doing that. So when you, when you practice your thumb and fingers exercise, really make sure that when you do your rest stroke, rest stroke is holding is keeping it firm in place while the thumb is, is moving through the string right just like that uh, and then number three uh, is uh, since your rest stroke is looking better I can go ahead and start talking a little bit about free stroke as long as your rest stroke keeps on getting worked on I will keep on giving you free stroke stuff um, so basically um, what you do is you go ahead and have your hand think like this we have be talking about it one time before we're gonna give it to you again have your hand up like this, right? Turn your hand this way. Make sure not to bend the wrist in like this. Hand out this way. It's going this way, horizontal. X in the back of your palm right here. Down, up, down, up. Like that right there. That's the motion of your free stroke. Come around and then part two, brushing the strings with thumb on five and then same motion. You're just brushing the tips of the fingers on the highest strings. So you're not trying to do anything like this, or you don't want to. You don't want to curl the hand back this way, straight back, just like that right there. Um, and then the other thing, uh, your A major scale. Keep on working on your scales, your A major. Um, so what I did there is I want you to start doing the chromatic movement with the A major. So you have your A major. Instead of going back to the A right here at the end, up to B flat, you go up a half step. No, something like that. There, come back down uh, D major. Um, so I want you to start practicing doing your A major scale form that way, moving up chromatically up to D, and you come back down your D major scale that we worked on for a while. And then lastly, uh, since we're working on menu menuet, this is the last piece in book one. Uh, go ahead and buy book two, um, and start listening. Start listening to that CD. It's a bunch of great stuff: Carcassi, Giuliani, Paganini. Um, uh, uh, no, there's no Carulli in there. Um, but start listening to that. Start listening to that uh, that CD. And uh, we'll start working on those pieces when you come back. Um, we'll play the duet with Meta Minuet, so make sure that's pretty much memorized, if not memorized already. Um, we'll play the duet when we're back in here. I think we'll be back in December. Um, so I think I'll be here this week, and then next week I'll be here, then I'll be out. I sent an email out with my uh, what days I'm in and out of the studio um, for the holidays. Um, so we'll have next week, uh, I'll probably follow up. Send me a follow up with Meta Minuet. I want to see how well it looks. And with your guitarist wave um, in your A major scale, and then um, and then we can start talking about book two stuff, and then that's when we really dig into um, free stroke, and um, and get some more classical guitar repertoire. Book two is more real classical guitar repertoire into book three, um, and that point it just kind of takes off from there. So good. Uh, if everything looks good with the primer off book one, uh, we will continue for next time. Send me a message if you have any questions about any of this. Um, send me a reply video back so I have something to jump off of. For, um, for the next video. All right, man, uh, have safe travels in Puerto Rico and make sure to have a pina colada for me. Um, have two, actually. And um, if you ever get a chance, um, you should stop by the, um, the conservatory there. It's, um, I street it's online. I could get you there. I just don't know the name of the streets. Um, uh, so it's, there's a lot of great, great guitarists over there in that area. Hopefully we'll have a concert or something. But all right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.